Hi, my name is Miles Featherstoner, and I'm going to be reading a book called Kids Saving Oceans, Olivia Makes a Difference by Tora McGee and Miles Featherstoner, illustrated by Kate Zatova. Olivia wanted to help, not in the way she helped her dad in the kitchen or when she took the dog for a walk or when she put away the laundry. She wanted to help in a big way, a way that could help make the world a better place. Olivia was just one kid, but she knew the small changes could add up to something big. It all started when she and her mom took a trip to the beach. Olivia was having so much fun playing in the crashing waves, building sandcastles, and turning her mom into a sand mermaid. She had just gone to the shoreline to get some wet sand, the kind that helps build sturdy sandcastles, when she noticed it. Trash. There was trash all over the beach. As she lugged the bucket of sand back to her beach towel, Olivia shook her head. I don't get it, she said to herself. Where is all this trash coming from? What's wrong? her mom asked. Aren't you having fun? I was, mom. But look at all the trash, Olivia replied. Well, said Olivia's mom, what can we do to help? We can pick the trash up to start, Olivia replied. And so they did. They picked up plastic bottles and bags. They picked up wrappers and old flip-flop. They picked up so much trash that it filled their entire beach bag. They recycled what they could and threw the rest away. The next day at school, Olivia's teacher, Miss Hart, taught a lesson about community helpers. These were the people who worked together to make the community better. Miss Hart asked the students to come up with a project idea for something that would help their community. Olivia knew exactly what she was going to do. When Olivia got home from school, she said, Mom, Miss Hart asked us to come up with an idea that will help our community. After seeing all that trash yesterday, I've decided to start a group called Kids Saving Oceans. That night, Olivia and her mom did some research. They learned that because of increased production of plastic, the oceans and waterways are full of single-use plastic, which is really bad for marine life, like sea turtles, fish, and seabirds. They decided the mission of Kids Saving Oceans would be to inform others about ocean conservation and making choices that will benefit our environment. Olivia realized that there were many choices kids like her could make every day that would benefit our waterways for generations to come. The next day at school, Olivia's classmates presented their ideas to the class. There were a lot of great ideas on ways to help, volunteering at local animal shelters, food drives, and baking cookies for the fire department. When it was Olivia's turn, she told the story of how she and her mom cleaned up trash on their beach day, and how small actions like that could add up to something big for our environment. The class took a vote, and Olivia's idea for Kids Saving Oceans won. The following day, they got to work. Ms. Hart asked the students to come up with a list of single-use plastics they used every day. Olivia, why don't you come up here and write down everyone's ideas? As she took the marker from Ms. Hart, she stood next to the whiteboard. Olivia felt so proud. Kids started raising their hands, and one by one, Olivia added the items to the list. Plastic straws, shampoo and conditioner bottles, toothbrushes, plastic shopping bags, and plastic water bottles. Next, the students talked about how they could replace each item with something more sustainable. Ryan would ask his mom to get reusable straws. Tara's family could switch to bars of shampoo and conditioner. Lydia would start using wooden toothbrushes. Rowan would ask his dad to buy reusable shopping totes on their trip to the grocery store. Amelia and her brother Will could switch to reusable water bottles. As the students in Olivia's class started to spread the word about kids saving oceans, she began to notice that there were dozens of kids at school, even kids that weren't in her class or her grade, making a difference. Soon, Kids Saving Oceans was hosting beach cleanups on the weekends and big sales to benefit conservation foundations. The school even launched a recycling program in the cafeteria. Kids from every class and every grade were making small changes in their everyday lives. Thinking back to the day on the beach, Olivia was so proud to have been part of the change. Just as she thought small changes multiplied by a lot of people had added up to something big. The end. What do you think you could do to get from this to this?